the Enreal Air AR glasses. I'm going to show you how to set this up step by step. But first, let me show you what it comes out of the box. So here's the box here. Get a QR code here, instructions manual. You get a charging cable, which you will connect directly to your glasses, to your phone. Here are the actual glasses, as you can see here. Here's the case. You get a shield here which you can go ahead and black out the front. It just snaps into place. Just go ahead and just pop it on and just go ahead and press in. Then just make sure everything is in. And if you want to take it out, you can just hold it from up here and just pull it right out just like that. You also get two pairs of nose pieces here and an extra pair of lenses as well. All right? And you can see where they would go nose piece and you get the lenses right there. Now I'm going to be setting this up to my Samsung Galaxy uh, S10 Plus, my Android phone. You have to make sure that your phone is compatible, okay? So I'm going to put this link below, this annual compatibility list. So from here, like I'm in the US, I would tap on US and I can see all the compatible phones, okay, for the glasses. I get some LGs here, OnePlus 10, OnePlus 8, OnePlus 9, you have some Oppo phones, a bunch of Sam tons of Samsung phones here. Sony Xperia's and so on. Again, this link will be below in the description. So first thing we're going to do is go ahead and download the Nebula app for the Enreal Air glasses, okay? So here's the QR code. So I'm just going to go ahead and whip up my camera. If you don't have if you don't have this, you can actually put a, put the um, video on pause and scan the same one as well, okay? Okay, it's taking us to Enreal here. And let's see here. Okay, so it says for Android users, you can check your phone compatibility right here as well, and you can click the download nebula here. For other users, you can click down here, and you can read through this down here as well. Okay, so anyway, I have an Android phone, so I'm gonna, and I already know it's compatible, so I'm gonna click download nebula now. And if if your QR code is not working, you can just go to the Play Store and type and uh, search for nebula. Okay, this is what the icon looks like. So go ahead and download and install that. And then when it's done installing, you can go ahead and open it, or you can go directly to your screen and open up the Nebula app. Welcome to Nebula. Uh, please read privacy policy and terms of service. Go ahead and read through this. Click those once you agree. Tap down here to continue. Permission requirements. Go ahead and read through all this and then tap on continue to proceed. Allow Nebula to take pictures and record video. For me, this is, this is optional. I'm just going, for myself, I'm going to put while using the app. Allow Nebula to record audio. I'm going to go with while using the app. Allow Nebula to make and manage phone calls. That's optional as well. For me, I'm going to go with allow here. Allow Nebula to access photos and media on your device. That's optional. I'm going to go with permission requirements. Go ahead and read through this and then tap on continue. Stop optimizing battery usage. Nebula will be able to run in the background as battery usage won't be restricted. Okay, so I'm going to go with allow. Do you allow Nebula to send you push notifications? That's up to you. I'm going to tap on agree for myself. And you can see you have AR space here and air casting, okay? So, so air space is with AR, AR space, you can explore all the possibilities that augmented reality application has to offer, okay? Or you can do air casting, which this one here with full screen, you can watch mobile content from your apps like Netflix, but on a large screen while laying on a sofa or even in bed, all right? So we need to go ahead and plug plug in the glasses to enter Nebula. So let's go ahead and grab the charging cable here. And one end is going to go into the glasses over here. It's a USB-C type as well on both ends. USB-C and USB-C here as well. So let's pop this in. That. This here pops up. Oh, uh, how to open touchpad on your phone tap the touchpad icon on the navigation bar So the touchpad icon is right down here. You can sign okay there. This is just a tutorial Okay, so now this is the trackpad here So the next thing we got to do now you got to go ahead and put on your glasses This is gonna be a little bit difficult for me to show you guys But we can go ahead and move the mouse to, through our glasses right here. Okay, so you want to go ahead and look through this and I'm looking through the glasses myself, okay, so I can read it to you. It says, allow Nebula to access Enreal Air. And then you have a little selection. Always open Nebula when Enreal Air is connected. And that's optional, but I'm going to go ahead and choose that little 
I'm going to OK with that one. So you can kind of see through the glass that little message right there. So I'm going to go ahead and click on to always open the app when I connect it. And I'm going to click on OK right there. Then you get another message. Just go ahead and click on OK, read it, and then click on OK. So I'm going to click on OK. Now really quickly, just FYI, on the trackpad it says here, if you're using, if you want to use the Samsung DeX, it says you can set the touchpad to turn on automatically when you run Samsung DeX. To turn it on in Samsung DeX, go to settings, then mouse, and then trackpad, all right? All right, so I'm just wearing the glasses now, but I'm wearing the glasses and it's bringing me to the Nebula website. So I have to go ahead and create an account. I can go ahead and sign up or I can use one of my, um, continue with one of my Gmail addresses, all right? So I'm just going to choose my Gmail address. The um, Down here it pops up too so I can type it in. So if you're signing your email address, then you can then you're all set up and ready to go. And just really fast, don't forget the trackpad is down here. Okay? So you got the trackpad right there. If you want to bring the trackpad back up or um, take it off, you can just slide up like this and you can go back like that. Or go back, back to your phone, trackpad, that little thing right there. You can control in there, all right? Questions or issues, just comment below, all right? Good luck, guys.